So you try anomalies. The Mullerian duct anomalies or Feramizunifleck duct anomalies. So uterus didelphis. The second one is bicarnuate uterus. And the third one is septate uterus. So these are the three main anomalies of uterine uterus. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about the little bit concept. This is paramesoneplic duct, which is called Mullerian duct. Okay, uh, this both of these duct must fuse with each other to form the female internal genitalia. Okay, they must fuse. If they didn't fuse, then the enorm uterus anomalies will be occur. Okay. So they, were, they are going to fuse and form the uh, female internal genitalia like fallopian tube, uterus, and cervix, and upper one third of vagina. Okay. So when they when they didn't fuse the problem in the fusion, then these uh, anomalies will be occur. Let's first talk about the uterus didelphis. Okay, it is the complete failure in fusion of amazonephric duct which is called Mullerian duct okay uh, both of the Mullerian ducts are not going to fuse with each other and that is called uterus didelphis okay now let's draw the diagram this is the feramizonephric duct this is the feramizonephric duct okay if they are going to form the male and female internal genitalia they both must fuse if they didn't fuse with each other they are going to they are going to lead to different anomalies and if there is complete failure in the fusion they will lead to uterus didelphis okay so in this diagram i'm going to draw and show you that there is going to be the two uterus and two cervix and two vagina and two fallopian tube two fallopian tube is the normal but here there are two uh, uterus two cervix and two vagina so two uterus and uh, two cervix and uh, two uh, vagina okay but uh, in this case the, uh, the there is possibility of pregnancy okay so the pregnancy is possible in the uterus didelphis so the bicarnuate uterus okay uh, there, there is incomplete fusion of the feramizonephric duct which is called bicarnuate uterus so half is fused and half half is not fused okay like uh, this portion is fused, fused so there will be one cervix and one vagina and so one vagina and this portion is not fused so there will be two horn of the uterus and that's why it is called bicarnuate uterus and two horn uterus will be attached with one vagina and one cervix okay so let's draw the diagram uh, in this diagram you will see that there will be two symmetrical uh, uterus two horn of the uterus and one cervix and one vagina so this one side this one is the one horn of the uterus this is a uh, cervix okay sorry for the spelling this is cervix and this is another side of the uterus another horn and this is vagina okay so you see the two horn uterus is attached with one cervix and one vagina this is called bicarnuate uterus but here is the problem that there will be increased risk of uh, complicated uh, pregnancy okay and there will be also uh, a problem in the pregnancy loss there will be early pregnancy loss uh, septate uterus okay there is incomplete resorption of the septum in the uterus normally the septum in the uterus must be resolved or finished if it doesn't this is called septate uterus so septum uh, in the uterus so there will be decrease in fertility and there will be also uh, chances of pregnancy loss will be increases you see now this is the septum in the uterus okay and here this is normal no septum so the, this septum due to this septum it is called septate uterus Young female is being evaluated for infertility. A hysterogram is obtained as a photo of comprehensive evaluation. Which of the following embryological process failed in this patient? Hysterogram shows us the uterus. So as you can see, there are two uterus in this diagram. So it means there is a problem in the formation of the uterus. So in they're asking you uh, fusion of the feramizonephric duct, fusion of the mesonephric duct, differentiation of the mesonephric tubules, and evolution of the feramizonephric duct, fusion of the urethral fold. Okay, so where is the problem? I mean that there is the failed in which embryological process. So as you guys can see, okay, uh, we are now having the two uterus. So uh, the uterus are going to be formed from the feramizonephric duct which is called Mullerian duct. Okay, now you see here, the feramizonephric duct is also called Mullerian duct. Mullerian duct to the, uh, the help of maternal estrogen, they both are going to form the fused and they are going to form the met female internal genitalia like fallopian tube, cervix and upper one third of the vagina and uterus. So if they fail, 
the fusion in in, uh, in these duct fell they were going to form the two uterus bicarnuate uterus so the answer is a failure in the fusion of pyramusonephric duct okay so this is the answer